The African American Museum of History and Culture contains exhibits from a number of Natchez related African American historic sites, important citizens, and events. Museum director Bobby Dennis says it's much more than what you might expect. City. But what I like most is that we're able to look at it from its very beginning, not pick it up in the middle of the book. To understand the people gives you an understanding of the desire of the city to move forward and continue to move forward. It don't just focus on enslavement. You only hear of the heartbreaks, the sorrows, and never get the opportunity to see those compromises. We focus on the people so our guests can understand that before a man was enslaved, he had a skill and a knowledge, and it was used to building the city of Natchez. Bobby says the research shows enslaved people already had knowledge of how to use and manipulate cotton before they were enslaved, and that's just one example. A city in which we produced the first black senator sent to the United States. This tells us something about the citizens of Natchez, the people themselves. Mayor Dan Gibson says the city owes the museum a great deal. It is our African American History Museum. It has also helped us to bring more attention to various issues facing our world today and the need for us here in Natchez and also for Mississippi to step out and be on the forefront of telling that proper story of American history that gives credit to those enslaved Africans who built this country, especially here where we are. Bobby says knowledge of the past is the key to a better future. Natchez has made a large leap toward embracing that past through the lives of its people. The institution of slavery will always be with us, but no one gets to understand us better than we tell our relationships through each development part of it.